Hi, my name is James Shepard, and I'm really excited about today's video. We're gonna talk about how to hire your own telemarketer, and specifically, I'm gonna talk about two different services. One is called outbounders.com, and the other one is called upwork.com. And these two uh, you know, websites or services are so powerful for individual sales reps today that it's hard for me to really overstate you know, how powerful it really can be for your career uh, in sales. And also the other great thing about it is it really doesn't even take any money necessarily up front in order for you to do this. So I'm gonna talk to you about three different strategies that you can use uh, to hire your own telemarketer, okay? So three strategies for hiring your own telemarketer. So number one on this list, I'm gonna kinda go from the least risky uh, all the way up to where you have to invest a little bit more money, okay? So least risky here. There's a website called outbounders.com. If you go to outbounders.com, what you can do is you can hire a telemarketer and you can do what's called a performance-based job. So the way it works is you start an account with Outbounders. Outbounders has you know thousands, I think they have something like 20 or 30,000 telemarketers from all over the world that will call on your behalf. Um, and what you can do is you can hire somebody and you can post a performance-based job which costs $25, okay? And then you can pay a certain amount of money per event. So you could pay this per sale that's made. So on kind of the farthest where it's the least risky, the least expensive, but also probably not gonna get you the greatest results, is you could literally hire a telemarketer and say, look, you're gonna get me leads, every time I close a sale, then I'm gonna pay you $100 or something like that. Now, of course, if you're selling you know, payment processing, you're probably getting several hundred dollars upfront bonus money on every sale, depending on what you're selling. So you can leverage that upfront money to pay for this uh, telemarketer, okay? So it's a really, really great system to have where you just basically pay for the sale um, and then they go ahead and, and create a sale for you. Now, a couple of tips about hiring somebody on Outbounders, okay? Number one tip, Never hire somebody that you have not interviewed first. And I know that sounds like really obvious, but a lot of people look at these platforms like Upwork and Outbounders.com as this you know magical thing where you know people just come there and they want to sell and be good people. And um, you know the truth is you have to interview them just like you would anybody else. Primarily because if you're going to you know hire somebody from say the Philippines or India or even the United States or wherever, you want to hear how they sound on the phone. So the way you do this is with like a Skype interview. And so Outbounders makes this really simple. But you're going to basically use Outbounders, do an interview, find somebody you really like, like the way that they sound on the phone. You can also look at their track record. You want to, if you want to go low risk, find somebody that's already had a lot of successful jobs. You should read every single thing that was said about that Outbounder and how they responded to their feedback. And that'll give you a lot of insight into their ability to speak English, uh, as well as their ability to accomplish your objectives. All right. So lowest risk, least expensive, but also probably the least profitable method would be you know, they give you leads and then when you make a sale, you pay them, okay? Next one up the ladder, I guess I'm actually gonna give you four today, but next one up the ladder is gonna be um, hiring them to schedule you appointments. Now, the key to getting them to schedule you appointments um, and paying them for the appointment itself is you've gotta give them something that's easy to get an appointment with, all right? Go back and watch some of my other videos and listen to my other podcast episodes over the last month. I've been talking a lot about different strategies. For instance, I talked about a survey. That's really the best one I can tell you to use with Outbounders is get them to say, hey, um, you know, I'm calling from the office of James Shepard right here in Altoona, Pennsylvania. He'd like to come out and do a survey because we're working with small business owners in the area to accomplish X. And he just wanted to find out if he could take five minutes of your time, ask you a few questions about this. And so you can watch those videos and listen to those podcasts for more ideas about that. But you need to think of something really creative. Don't do just the normal you know, pitch. It's gotta be something really creative for them. Usually a survey works best. And then when they schedule an appointment for you, once you go to the appointment and you're able to speak to the decision maker, then you pay them. Maybe you pay them $20. $25, $30, something like that, because the odds are that if you get three appointments, you're gonna make one sale, so you're still paying around 100 bucks for a sale, um, and that's with outbounders.com. So that's you know uh, the third way you can do it. Secondly, I'm sorry. The third way you can do it um, that I believe is really actually the most profitable, but does take, you know, you have to take a little bit of risk and have a little bit of money is actually to just pay them hourly. Okay. Now there's a couple of really big advantages to paying them hourly on outbounders.com. Um, the number one advantage is that they can do whatever you want them to do. And that's really what you want here. So what you really want is you want somebody that can come in and schedule you appointments. 
then when you go out in the field and talk to them, if they weren't there, you know, if you try to talk to them, they're not there, you can let your uh, telemarketer know, hey, so-and-so wasn't there, and they can really become more of an assistant. And that's really what you want, is you can go on Outbounders, pay somebody for like three hours a day, two to three hours a day, that's gonna cost you 20 to 30 bucks a day, right? So as long as you've got like, say $100 a week, maybe $150 a week, you can afford to have your own assistant and let them take some time every day where they're maybe taking you know, two hours out of the three to call and schedule new appointments for you using this really creative survey pitch. And the other hour, they're calling back people that you weren't able to get in contact with. And they're basically just working with them to reschedule appointments for you, manage your calendar, things like that that you really, really need done. And I've got a lot of other resources on that as well. If you go on Google and search for like CC Sales Pro appointment scheduling or something like that, you'll find other articles I've done about setting that up the right way. So um, those are three strategies you can use on Outbounders. I'm going to give you a fourth in just a second. But before I do that, the key thing is you got to do the interview, okay? And then you have to really set this up for them. This is not the kind of thing where you're like, oh, I'm just going to say, hey, give me some business, you know? That's not going to work, all right? What you need to do is take, you know, uh, for instance, go to instantquotetool.com. There's a good example. Um, do a 30-day trial of that if you haven't already. Give your telemarketer your login. I'm fine with that. Give them your login. Let them go in and watch all the videos so they really understand merchant services. They need to understand it. Um, and that's, you know, and again, you have to pay them for that. So you pay them by the hour to go through and do that. Make sure they understand it. Then you got to give them a script. This is exactly what you're going to say. This is exactly what they are going to say. This is what you're going to say to that. Really think through your script with uh, rebuttals and objections. And so the key thing is you need to take some time to call before you hire them to call. So I would say the two biggest mistakes that people make when they hire a telemarketer is number one, they don't interview them over the phone. They do some kind of chat thing. You gotta hear how they sound on the phone. And then number two, what they do is they don't uh, make the calls first themselves. You need to call yourself first and call for three, four, five hours and work out your script. You know, write down every rebuttal that you hear. What do you want them to say to that? You know, you got to role play with them. Like it's a management thing. You got to manage this person because however much time and energy you put into your telemarketer, you're going to get that back tenfold because they're going to be better at what they're doing. They're going to be like working with you better. And you could really get to a point where you could bring them on for five or six hours a day and you could be making 20, 30 sales a month if you really structure this the right way. So there's a couple tips for you. Now, the, the fourth option I'll give you is kind of my extra. We'll just say this is my extra one today is Upwork. So you can use Upwork.com in a very similar way. Um, there's very similar people on there, but there's a huge disadvantage with Upwork. Upwork does not have its own dialer system, whereas Outbounders.com, even though it's not a great dialer, and you'll find a lot of the telemarketers are going to say, oh, I don't like using their dialer. Can I just use my own or whatever? My answer is always no. <laughs> because I like the accountability. They have their own dialer on outbounders.com. You can load, you know, so you have to go to like Info USA or Sales Genie and buy a small list, spend a hundred bucks, buy a small list of people you wanna call. Or if you don't have that kind of money, go to Google Maps and just create your own uh, Excel spreadsheet of the 500 people you want them to call or have some, you know, have your uh, spouse or significant other help you with that. Just type it out and then upload it. But they have their own dialer and that's really nice. You create the campaign, you upload it, then you hire somebody. And if you're paying them by the hour, you know they're calling because they only get paid when they call. And so it's really a nice setup for that. I, I do like that a lot. Um, so Upwork, I don't advise that you use them for the average, you know, $8 an hour person uh, in the Philippines who's going to call to schedule appointments. But what Upwork does have that's really unique, Upwork has a lot of people on there that are professional telemarketers, okay? These are people that are just not appreciated anymore. It's really crazy. I was talking to somebody, um, last week, I think on Thursday or Friday on Upwork, that you know they're asking $25 an hour for their time. And this lady is in New York City. She has, was, has been selling over the phone for decades, probably 20 years experience, and she's extremely good. I can tell she's an amazing sales representative, but she's kind of stuck because now there's not that many jobs for really high quality telemarketers anymore. So you can really partner with somebody like that to schedule you appointments. And there's really no way to say it other than that they can actually really grow your business in a much bigger way if you're willing to put the money in because they really know what they're doing and they can help you with your telemarketing strategy, not just making the calls. They can actually help you strategize. They don't need a dialer because they're actually really motivated. So with them, you want to pay them a high hourly wage, maybe like go, so that lady, I would offer her like $18 an hour plus 50 bucks every time I get a sale. 
you know, something like that that's really going to motivate her because she's like a serious telemarketing professional. So that's kind of a fourth option is you can go with a really professional person and then it's really more of a kind of a partnership. Um, certainly they work for you, but you know what I mean? It's more of a partnership where you're getting ideas from them on the telemarketing. They're getting ideas from you on how to make it better in the field and you can really work together with somebody like that. So if you're somebody that really struggles with getting out in the field but you know you're very talented at sales, I would highly recommend that fourth option. Find somebody and again, interview them over the phone all the stuff I said before, but somebody you're like, wow, I can really work with this person every day. You'll be amazed at what that'll do to your productivity and your sales numbers because they're going to be ready to, you know, every day at 9 a.m. They're like, hey, you got your first appointment. It's over here. And then you're going there and they're working on your schedule and they're scheduling appointments. And you know what I mean? There's a symbiotic relationship there that can really, really impact you. So three strategies to, uh, you know, hiring a telemarketer, using a telemarketer, plus a fourth one, uh, bonus one there. Uh, put some comments. Let me know if you have any questions uh, on YouTube. Um, I'm glad to answer those questions. You can email me, james at ccsalespro.com. I'll answer your questions that way if you're listening to the audio podcast. My name is James Shepard. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.